An annual training plan helps you to plan for the year by creating a macro view, which allows you to guide each week's training. To create an annual training plan, click the ATP at the top of your calendar. If you haven't created an annual training plan before, click Get Started. Otherwise, click the plus icon to create a new ATP. Once you click Get Started, you'll be presented with a few different options. The first one is to choose a training plan methodology. You can choose to plan by weekly hours, by weekly training stress score, or by the target event fitness or chronic training load, CTL. Today I'm going to plan by weekly TSS. Next, I need to give my annual training plan a name, choose the date range, and then select whether I want automatic or manual periodization. If I choose manual periodization, then I'll be responsible for deciding the training stress score for each week as well as the periods. For this example, I'm going to use an automatic periodization. Next, I choose my current fitness, or the athlete's current fitness. Choosing the current fitness has an effect on how much time the athlete spends in the base period. If I choose strong, they'll spend a normal amount of time in the base period. If I choose weak, then they'll spend an extended amount of time in the base period, depending on how much time there is before their first A priority event. Here I'm going to choose strong. Next I can choose a recovery cycle. So I can either choose every four weeks or every three weeks. And what this is is that there will be three weeks of build followed by one week of recovery. And if I were to choose every three weeks, that would be two weeks of build followed by one week of recovery. For this example, I'll use four weeks. Next I'm going to choose my weekly average TSS. For this athlete, I'm going to say 400 TSS. And you can see that the easiest week will be 226 training stress score, with the hardest week being 466 training stress score. For more information on training stress score and some guidelines based on different sport types and athlete ability level, either click on these tooltips here or go to our help center at help.trainingpeaks.com. The final step is to add at least one A event. And so here I already have one event added. I can add a new event by clicking event. Next, I need to select what type of event, event it is. And here I have a triathlon four plus hours. And then this is to choose a priority. An A priority event is an event that you'll have a full taper going into, so a couple of weeks. A B priority event is a little less important, and so you might only have a few days of taper before going into that event. And then a C priority event means that it's really just a training race, and so there won't be any taper and the athlete will train straight through. Once I have all that set, then I just select Create ATP. Once that ATP is created, we'll be able to see below the different periods for each of these um, periods. And then we'll also see the TSS for each of these periods. Up above, we can see the TSS is these bars, the planned TSS. Once the athlete starts to complete workouts, those bars will become um, colored in. And then behind that, we also have a modeled performance management chart, or PMC. And these dashed lines represent what's actually been done. Um, again, once the athlete starts to complete workouts, then that will start to change. If I wanted to manually change one of these planned TSS um, bars for one of the weeks, then I can just drag and scroll, and you can see that behind it the performance management chart updates automatically. Once I'm finished, I can select Apply to update those stats. And then I can also manually update the TSS here just by clicking into this um, field. If I type 300 and hit Enter, 400, 500, and then that will update in the PMC above and the um, annual training plan as well. For more information on this or other Training Peaks features, go to our help site at help.trainingpeaks.com.